What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. We are on the moon. I took some time to run around, and actually the moon was where I think we needed to go next. And so here we are. I think that on the moon, what we're going to try and do is finalize a spaceport, and that should take us to the next stage of whatever our colonization effort is here. The landing stages are ready to accept cargo shuttles. Now you can establish interorbital transportation routes. But that doesn't mean your colony is safe. The supply lines from Earth are easy targets. I'd recommend you make your colony as self-sustaining and independent as possible. Glad we found you. There are only a few LEC colonies not controlled by the Orbital Watch. I can sell you the remaining stock from our warehouses and use the credits to buy supplies. I'd appreciate the business. So what does she want me to do? Oh, okay, so she's firing that shit out right here. So, what do these kids need? These kids have oxygen, so they're good to go. I think- I love your shoulder light, by the way. That's pretty fantastic. If I had a shoulder light, I feel like I'd probably have a lot less bruised knees and elbows and whatnot. Then again, I kind of get absorbed in thought, and then I just don't pay attention very well. Uh, yeah. I need the magnetite, so... I really sincerely do need the magnetite, so I figure... Give me a status update. What does she want? Okay, so it's up there. Let's go ahead and grab this little vehicle that she wanted us to grab. I'll probably expand this out a little bit further, even though it's expensive. We've got a decent amount of titanium for right now. We really, really, really attract officers, huh? So we gotta produce bio-enhancers. Man, we gotta do a bunch of blue shit up in here. So how are they good on oxygen right now? Because I definitely have not produced any oxygen. I'm a little bit strange on this fact. Let's go ahead and put in a core driller real fast. I'll probably take this around to here for right now. Uh oh, it needs a shield generator. Okay, well I guess drop it off to the side then. And that'll be cool. Oh, that has to be connected to a road too. Why? It's a shield generator. Time to make some improvements. We don't normally resort to violence, but this time, okay. I give you explicit consent. Kind of some odd decisions right there. I don't know why these can't stand alone, like out in their own little space, without generally having to be like in weird, awkward spots. I don't know. Either way, I'll fit things in as we go. These are going to cost us 7,500 credits a pop, and so this shit is going to get real expensive real fast. Why is that? Oh, that's right. I got to make a little jump right there. I strongly dislike that as well, but you got to do what you got to do, I guess. There's probably a better way to get that done, but... Case awry, I suppose. There. And so I don't know if we can actually beautify this or not. I think we. Why do we need a mountain building site for a solar pad? Couldn't we just do that anywhere? Oh, look, we unlock some things. We got Creep Gatherer. Provides rare earth elements for further processing. I have no idea what it's talking about right there. We've also got a cybernetics factory, so the bio enhancer is going to be fairly important as well. Because we're producing ice over on this side, our cash flow is a little bit low, and I said that I was going to cut it off when it got down to. A certain amount. The accumulator unit here, probably a smart idea. What surplus is this giving me? God, that's expensive. So we have plus 20 in ice generation. On this side, we would need... That gives us minus 2. That's actually not that bad. So... How is that blocked right there? It can't go up flush? Okay, well, whatever. And so we're producing minus one right now. I think that might be the issue for why the game is messing with me at the moment. How is that area blocked right there? Never been installed. Give it a try. Looks okay to me. What's wrong with that area? Odd. Okay, well what about this? Kind of a strange situation that I find myself in here. Definitely costing us a little bit of cash to go in like this. 
And then productivity is going to suffer due to the fact that... Is there another mine down here? There is not another mine down here. So the only way to generate electricity around here is going to be to use this kind of stuff. And once again, no shield protection is going to be problematic. I'll probably just slap that little bastard at the end of the road. Warning. Energy shortage. And then we'll go in like so. Can't let the shields go down. And so we've got that covered now. Alright, so now that we've been properly shielded, we're throwing out our, I don't know, energy-laden phalanx here. We've got the things that we need. That's producing electricity for a little while, so that should be okay for now. This guy over here, I just don't know what I want to do with him. That's the thing, is... It doesn't look like it fills up enough space. Yeah. I was kind of in an odd bit of a predicament here as far as the spacing is concerned. That's not going to be inside the generator. That one's just barely inside the generator. So I guess I could just endo it out on the road and treat this like I used to treat my farms and kind of just abandon it out here. A little bit low on cash. Oop, that's not what I wanted. But I'm trying to take care of our needs now before later. And so now that we've got the oxygen taken care of, that actually looks really badass right there. I like the way that that entire facility is laid out. We're going to have to jump to another map and we're going to have to focus on developing Walbrook next because we got to send rejuvenators over here so these guys can get a little stronger. The bio enhancers are things that I can work on. I assume that this right here is another mining facility. Yeah, the creep mine. Okay. So that'll more than likely have to go right there. We'll have to drop another shield generator as well. But the development of all these facilities is getting a little bit expensive for right now. So, while I wait, let's get ourselves some more magnetite real fast by dropping that off over here. Okay, and she wants 21 titanium plating, which we have a surplus of. And, on top of that, we're about to leave and go do something else. So I see no real reason... Wow, that vehicle is really slow. I see no reason why we shouldn't be able to grab some of the stuff she wants out of here, then drag it on back, and that'll give us a nice little supply of magnetite for whenever we come back. All so, right. if we've got sense. hover vehicles here, why are we messing around with rovers? I mean, granted, it looks cool, and we're driving like a space APC. A space APC? I don't know. A spay APC? That would work. A spay PC? There we go. I knew I'd find it eventually. Using the spay PC. Your actions cause a lot of net traffic. Got that right there. And so on this side, we need to load up a little bit of that titanium since we're bouncing out in just a little bit. We are still generating revenues. So it's kind of a weird situation. Like, I don't feel... I don't feel like we're bleeding out that hard right now, but... I don't know. I'll more than likely have to drop another shield over here, too. That'll help out a little bit with finances, but these guys don't appear to actually help that much with cash. For working on the moon or whatever, I guess we give them tax breaks or something because... I don't know. We'll deal with this when we come back. I don't want to wait for my rovers taking too long. Perfect. Okay. So in we go. To fiddle with wall brick and make ourselves profitable again. Welcome. It should be really, really easy in the temperate zone to actually break even. And so actually what I would continue to do is I would just develop this area with more suburban type deals. And so let's keep that rocking and we'll expand our needs as it becomes necessary to do so. I was going to say that felt offset to me, but I wasn't totally sure about it. Attention. Under provision of specific consumer goods detected. Oh, I'm aware. We're going to solve these one thing at a time. Consumer analyses show unfulfilled demand for specific commodities. I don't know, one thing at a time. We'll get to it. Don't freak out. There we go. They've got them covered with information. Not going to make a lot of money, though, because organic food and water are down. That means that I need to find a coastal region here to fiddle with. It's perfectly suited to support a bridge to the other side. Building one here will give you access to new construction ground. So what does that cost me? Okay. I mean, I guess it's free? I don't know. I hope it's free. There's no price tag on it. It must be free. 
to quote the old joke that I swear to God, every person that ever goes in a real... Re don't tell that joke, please. Just do me a favor and promise me that you will never be that guy. Hate that shit. Every single time. Every single time. Do these fit? If they do... Then I'm going to strongly angle towards the fact... That we should probably make that happen right there. And that'll even out some of our organic needs right there, which is going to cause our cash to climb. On top of that, we need a new water source. So... Oh, we're out of electricity, too. We're having all kinds of fun problems today, aren't we? We are just... Having a ball. Okay. Well. I knew there was a reason why I didn't do that previously. I had my sneaking suspicions. So now that we've got that taken care of. Maybe something like that. And then I'll take you... And do something super ugly like that. I'm not planning on developing this entire area, by the way. It's not like something that I've got in my game plan for right now. It's just sort of... Just kind of filling space for right now. I think we're probably going to need a road that runs all the way up to here, aren't we? It's about what I figured. So the bridge requires in order to finish this 10 iridium. Make your choice, make a difference. Make sure everything that happens on your new island conforms to regulations. Okay, so apparently we've got a new island over here. I don't know if it allowed us to drop a... Oh. So there's no base over here. However, it does give us access to a couple of useful locations that I think we'll be able to fiddle with. Definitely. We do need silicone mines and whatnot, so we might be okay here. Let me jump on back. Man, the sprawl is unreal right now. It just keeps going, doesn't it? Just keeps on going. We needed more water is what we really needed. And there was two coastal sites down here. Okay. So I'll probably take that out then. And do something like that. Seems okay to me. And then in getting this road around some corners here, could probably actually just take it this way faster. Perfecto. Perfecto. Alright, so now we have access to a bunch of these new areas over here. My next suggestion would be that we should increase our transit network. Drop a guy right there. Drop a guy right there. It's going to cost us some money. We need the surplus pretty badly for this little quest right here. Then on top of that, I don't think it'll be too stingy for us to drop one right there. And so that will negatively affect our power. But luckily, we have this little space out here to fiddle with. And so since we've got so much dead space out here anyways, what I'd probably do is just use most of this for the development of a power grid. And so if I can space these well enough to where they'll be like so, I can actually pretty easily go in here and mash out a couple of those to help out with our power problems. However, if we maintain that for 10 minutes, we're going to get 2,000 energy, which will be even better. But right now, we don't really have that option. So let's go ahead and let's clear up our water problems, shall we? That's down to minus one now. I also need to make use of this over here, but in so doing, I'd like to make this clean, if at all possible. You know, help out with the house chores, make sure there aren't dishes to be done and all that fun stuff. And then once this gets built, we'll call that a water site as well, because we are going to be expanding our civilian borders pretty aggressively, and that should allow our cash to go back up right there, because that's across our entire kingdom, that's the thing, is... Of all the houses we have built in this little sector, this right here is going to help us offset that. I'll probably just go out like so. Throw those into the transit network.
suppose I could have just made a double wide right there. It's not my favorite, but... Seems alright for right now. I'll retrofit that in a little bit if I need to, but I'm not actually paying attention to efficiency so much anymore. It feels like we're more or less going to have like all the construction space we could ever want as we play the game. Just trying to fit people in where I can fit them down here. Right there looks like a decent spot for us to plow in one of the other little things that we need. So in goes you, and our surplus grows a little bit. CEOs such as yourself should show their presence on the world. Oh yeah, I needed to... Hold on, where's the votey thing? I needed to go to the votey thing. Let's see, voting rewards. They gave me ten branded modules. You really want to make a difference? What does a branded module do? Huh. Okay. So since the majority of everything we do seems to focus on agriculture and food it would appear as though same and international is like the group that's holding it down global market prices will appear to take some kind of let's see construction costs go down global market prices our vote might get us to 20 percent global market prices which might make our lives a little bit easier if we have to buy anything we'll be there i don't know what their modules do it didn't really explain that, and so I guess I'll go with them. Everybody wins. I don't think it actively shows what effect that had until a little bit later. But it should be alright for now. Let's get back down here on the ground level. And the next thing that I wanted to focus on was actually the production of luxury meals. And so while those are in here, the vineyard is producing about as rapidly as it can. I guess. Okay, so that got us to minus two with the meals factory. Is this the luxury meals factory? I was going to say, we need like one more. The sector balance is plus ten, which means that I could send my surplus elsewhere, but I think this would be best served hanging out. The production of wine is really kind of the difficult part because the wine factories are pretty expensive, and on top of that, their maintenance is not simple. So what did I do over here? Why are those pointing upwards? Yeah, snap those down, please. Thank you. A little bit better. This factory right here, I can probably do something a little bit more crafty with it, but... I don't know. The shape of this thing weirds me out. The shape of this thing weirds me out. See, I don't honestly know what the best configuration here is for this thing. Here, you go there for right now. Just playing some kind of weird brand of Tetris at the moment. Looks like... I could almost get it right there, but yeah, this is a tough one. There we go. That's about as square as it gets. And I think I should be able to produce another one of those pretty easily by using this little tool down here. If you click on this, you can copy that and then move it over so that your modules will be even more efficient. Just in case you're into that sort of thing. Just in case you're into that sort of thing. If I get a road running, it looks like I could reverse these. So that this part would make contact with that part, and these parts right here would make contact. Like, you see what I mean? It looks like I could reverse that, and it would fill in each other's slots, and then I could just write a... Drive a road back behind it. Might work out okay. I don't know exactly if it's going to work. But it'd be kind of cool. If I could make it work. And so right there would be the location that I would want to attempt that in. Since I could drag a road back this way. And then make them connect. What are these cost right here? Probably a lot, right? These wine vineyards. What are they? Terrace farming? Oh, that's sort of interesting. Huh. Alright then. I live in, like, Napa, so... Well, I don't live in Napa, but I live, like, right next to Napa, so there's a lot of good wine around here. If you're into wine, this is not a bad place to live. Dirt cheap, too, because they know they can't sell it around here at high prices, because people can just go to the vineyard and, like, get it straight from the vineyard. Pretty sweet. Yeah, that's what I thought.
Like, if I put that in right there... Actually, I don't know if that'll work. The prospect seemed intriguing for a minute. It's 13,000 for one of those? Let me play with it. I'm gonna build one just so I can fiddle. I reckon we got something better to do. Ah, it doesn't line up right. Okay. Man, that seems so perfect in my head, too. It's weird how frequently things seem okay in my head, though, and then turn out to not be okay. We could try... Hmm. All these spaces kind of sketchy, to be honest. Is it still counting my surplus right now? I don't want to overdo this and, like, cancel out my bonus. Let me get another transit station out here somewhere. Like, anywhere would realistically do. Like, right there would work perfectly fine. Puts us in the even. Man, I can't fit two right there either, which is what I wanted to do. Alright, well... I suppose I'll just bring you down to the end of the road then and leave you by the transit hub. Like you deserve. And I messed that up completely. That misclick is not going to cost me. I'll move that back on. And we got 10 extra wines now. I think you need minus 8 for each one of these right here. This kitchen's pretty much good to go. Sector balance is a plus 14. All these cats are ready to be upgraded. So let's get them moving. They're going to need security on this side, which is odd. It's not that odd, but it's still kind of a pain. I'll probably put one right there. Your global market share. Increased. Good. I love my global market share. It's my favorite. A little bit low on power for right now, but I'm just waiting on that to be done. And so in one minute, we should get more power than we can spend for at least a couple of episodes. I'm just trying to get our cash situation nice and taken care of. See how many of these we can convert into high-rises for right now. It looks like the bioplastics are the one that's causing us. And the point of this right now is to get our surplus back up right now to like maybe 15, 20,000. So we can go back to developing the lunar landscape, which is actually turning out to be Energy demand too high. a pretty ridiculously expensive thing to work on. Like, no joke, it's actually kind of a pain in the ass. So with 30 seconds left remaining, we can debate where we want to put some of this down. God, we're making money hand over fist. As long as you're making these little corporate apartments for the executives, you should be good. Just once you start fiddling with other stuff, the shit gets out of control. Down and in here... What is this producing? A biopolymer factory? Okay, so we got more than enough of those, I think. Shouldn't have to fiddle too much while we're out here. Huh. Yeah, I can't wait to actually sit down with this game and fiddle with the geometry and like figure out the things that I like doing and not like doing. Yes, this is my home. Doesn't matter. This is about work. I'll probably wait till we get some power, actually. So we got to load our vehicle with 70 super alloys. And then take them to my Shion. And so we'll grab the container right there. And then we got to go across the entire goddamn Earth to get over to there. And so that's going to take a while because I think... Yeah, we definitely aren't going that way. Probably be able to swoop this direction. I like how they connected this with bridges, though. That's kind of fun. It's an interesting way to play the game. It'll be cool if this fills up with traffic, too, once you start putting things on both sides. I don't know. It seems like it's going to be badass. I like it when things are interconnected like that, and it makes it all feel a lot more fun. The facilities are consuming more energy than you are providing. This reduces their productivity. I am aware. I'm working on it right now. Video game. If you'd like to stop hectoring me for a moment, trust me when I say that it's being worked on. Seems okay to me. We'll drop in some streets right there. Just paint them on in. I find this game to be a lot of fun, to be honest. Just watching the sprawl expand as you play the game is really kind of a fascinating thing for me. Probably upgrade as many of you guys as I can, too, so I can make a little bit more cash. Because we need to be more positive. I mean, the moon is just not a profitable venture. It is a place that you go to waste money. It's not a place that you go to make money. I see you have as little patience with fools as I have. Why not combine resources? Information like this would benefit both of us. What do you want me to do? 
production surplus of constructo bots. See, sometimes I wonder if it's actually worth it to work on these projects because building all those factories for constructo bots and whatnot, kind of expensive, right? And so let's assume for a second. I mean, we've got. I wish you could just give her like the 35 constructo bots or whatever. Maintaining the surplus kind of blows because that means that you've got to front the cost for all those things for this entire time. What are the constructo? I think they take aluminum and they take whatever the other thing is, cobalt. Man, I need that electricity like right now too. They are not making this easy on me. Very good. We should standardize the process. Drop this guy. That's upsetting. Oh well. Or I just leave that one where it's at until I can get rid of it later on. And so power's back up. I should probably use some kind of coastal site to make this easier, but haven't gotten around to it yet. We're going to need silicone mines pretty soon. What are we looking at over here? Oh, executive housing. That's the good housing right there. That's the one that makes us rich. A couple more corporate houses down and in there, so that sounds very, very nice. Get as many of those upgraded as possible. Actually, it seems like we're having more trouble going for operators than we are the corporate guys. For right now, I think that we're looking pretty solid. I'm going to work on this production problem that we have with the Constructo bots. I don't know how things are looking in our sector or what we're producing at the moment. But, I mean, I would assume that we're probably not super positive. we got plus 10 on Cobalt. We more than likely have plus 10. Okay, so we're going to need two more factories. Or sorry, we're going to need two more mines and one factory in order to get the Constructo bot surplus up all the way. And so I'll just drop those in. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for stopping on by. It's always a blast to play video games with all of you. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Super D Duper D Awesome Anno 2205. I will see you in future episodes. Hi, do, everybody.